talk about rock bottom. When does a team know it's rock hit rock bottom? I mean, when things turn around after the fact? Well, first of all, um, you know, I think in the big picture, you would say there's probably a lot of teams that would trade places with us, um, even in this season, right? Um, you know, we're still in a position where we're going to end up, you know, having a chance to control playing in the playoffs and those type of things. And then at that point, whatever happens, happens. But um, the, the bottom line is, is this team would never be um, or could be um, the best version of itself, maximize itself, you know, until it really comes together. And, um, you know, those, those sometimes can happen in um, small doses, but we just need to do it consistently. And, um, you know, these are the kind of trips where you hope that that can – you could start back towards that, but um, I don't think that this team had any chance of going to where it ultimately wanted to go without facing some adversity. Um, we, you know, we have not necessarily found ourselves by any means, uh, but but I do think that you know if we do, we'll count that as a good part of the path, um, though not a very fun one to go through. That's for sure. Brad, how's, how has your relationship with Kyrie evolved this season? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that I try to do is I just try to be consistent with everybody, Tom. And, um, you know, ultimately, you know, I, I don't necessarily only um, spend time, you know, thinking about these guys as, you know, the basketball players with, with the capes on, right? So, like, um, I spend a lot more time trying to put ourselves in other shoes and understanding what um, – you know all the all the things that that they have to carry. Um, I think Kyrie has, you know, obviously had an incredible year, and he's a six-time All-Star. He's an All-Star again, and he was a no-brainer All-Star. Um, I also think that, you know, he has shouldered a heavy, heavy load, um, and there's a lot that comes with that, and there's a lot of stress that comes with that, and um, you know. I think that he would be the first to tell you that this year hasn't gone exactly how he had hoped, um, but this year's not over. And, you know, it's one of those things, we talked for a long time the other day after the Houston game, and, and you could tell that, you know, that was something that had really hit him in that moment, that, you know, there's a lot of year left. And, um, you know, these will either be you know, a part of the story that just stays consistent and you'll be able to write the story now, or these will be blips on the radar and you'll be like, eh, turned into something really good. Is there, is there times where it's hard to remember that there is a lot of time left when you have a stretch like this and things do get kind of down and you get frustrated? Uh, I think it's easy to get back to that. I think you can, you know, these are the times, and again, it's, unfortunately we've had a lot of these, right? But um, I, th I still think these are the times that, that test you and stretch you the most. Um, not only not only as a team, but you know, also individually to to give of yourself to the team. And like I said yesterday, we have not done that at the level we need to all year. Um, and you could see it in the preseason. And, and you know, hopefully these things remind us how bad we need each other. Um, and the and, and the right the reality is is. You know, Kyrie was an all-star, but our strength is in our depth, right? So, like, Kyrie can do things that other guys can't do. Those guys all bring certain strengths to the table. But if we're not playing well, all nine of us, then that's that's we're not as good as we had hoped to be. So, like, that's where we all have to be, is we all have to be playing well. And, um, you know, well, we hope to get there. This, this is a great test tonight, you know, to see if we can get back and play a good 48 minutes possession by possession. Do it in a really mature way. I think that the beautiful part about having to play Golden State is they are going to go on runs. So you are going to have to respond or you will get buried. And that's a good thing for us to have to go through. That conversation with Kyrie, was that a one-on-one -on -one post -game conversation that you guys had? Or? Yeah, I mean, we just we sat and talked some yesterday, but then on the plane for a long time. But I wouldn't blow that out of proportion. Just we talk to everybody every day a lot, a lot. So like, um, you know, it's not like team meeting happened, blah blah blah. You know, like those are things that just happen over the course of the season quite often. Um, 
But I do think that the, the reality is we all need a place to be human um, and to understand that, you know, hey, if it's not going great, what can we all do to make it go a little bit better and, and have a great, enjoyable experience? And um, that's what we'll work on. In that respect, you, I mean, you came into the season with super high expectations. Those are all gone now, for the most part, at least outwardly. Is this a situation where this team can maybe embrace like the underdog status again? No, I don't. You know, I, I don't even think about that stuff, John. I really don't. I, I do think that, for whatever reason, some of that has affected our response to adversity. Um, there's no question about that. And you look at some of, you know, all year long. And I said this the other day. We haven't stayed in the moment in games, and we haven't moved on after as well as we need to. But um, if you just stay the course and don't worry about things you can't control and try to be the best teammate you can be and try to do your job as well as you can, none of that other stuff matters. And um, that's the places where we've fell short, um, not um, you know, necessarily responding or not responding to expectations or putting an underdog on our chest or whatever that is. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks brother. Thanks.